Well, welcome. It is week 12 in my attempt to monetize this channel. And if you remember last week, I had 287 followers. Looks like this week I have 290 followers. Let's go to the analytics. I'm going to show you all this stuff. And then eventually I want to talk about what's going on here. So my views last week were pretty bad. 465 views, 11 hours of watch time. I did get three subscribers, which is, is fine. Uh, looks like most of my video views from last week were coming from a review I did on an ice cream maker, which is interesting. And then some of my other videos, and here's an Amazon influencer, Walmart creator. Here's one on Venables. That's that. Let's go to advanced mode and subscription source. Looks like I got one from the YouTube watch page and, or excuse me, I, I lost one from the YouTube watch page and I gained four from the same page. So uh, content that is getting those subscribers, it looks like the new CapCut video, editing software, and then finding pr products at home to create shoppable videos for Amazon. So looking at the content that I made last week, I kind of just wore myself out. I made my thing monetized video last, I think this is Tuesday, I think it made it on Tuesday. And then I made a four additional long form videos for the week. So I made five videos last week and basically just burned myself out because it was a lot for me and I don't know, I just got really, really overwhelmed and I started asking myself, what am I doing? Am I even going in the right direction? Because I'm still not getting the views. I'm still not getting the things that I want to see. And then I went on threads and I posted, you know, I'm almost ready to quit. I'm just ready to quit YouTube right now. And someone came on and said that my thumbnails aren't great. It's like, ah, you know, I know they're not, they're not great. But when I look at other people's thumbnails, I feel like mine are very similar. Maybe I'm comparing them to other channels that are like mine that have a low number of followers. Maybe I should be comparing them to larger channels that have better thumbnails. I don't know, but I am starting to think maybe I did go in the wrong direction. At one point I had posted this thing on my community down here saying that I'm worried about my, that my channel has two different directions, product reviews, and what I'm learning as I work towards monetizing my channel and making money on other platforms like Amazon and TikTok. And I posted the question, what kinds of content should I continue to post? Four people voted and it was split down the middle. So two said to do what I'm basically doing now. And then two said to do those, continue doing those product reviews. So I'm just, I'm torn. I'm torn because it's hard to make videos about making money, even though I'm, I'm making videos about my journey, I don't know. I just feel like who cares? Who really wants to watch that stuff? And I just feel like the ones that get better views are the videos that I made on the products. So if I sort this by views, this bodysuit one got the most views. This one about apple shapes wearing overalls got a lot of views. And then this was my getting monetized videos. But if you look at like my top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos that are just showing on my screen. Most of those are videos that are product reviews, not this kind of stuff. So maybe, maybe I did go the wrong direction. Maybe I should have just kept with the product review vein and just continued on that. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm maybe taking a few weeks off to think about it. I may just, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of need to simplify what I'm doing. I I'm not enjoying posting to Facebook and Instagram. I still feel like those platforms are a complete waste of time for me. So my thought is why even bother? But then I also want to monetize on those platforms. But again, I'm not making any progress. I don't move forward. So I don't know. Same thing with threads. I find threads to be really frustrating because it's just a bunch of people copying and pasting other people's posts. And I mean, there's really nothing for me to engage in on threads. So again, why bother? TikTok has been really slow. My TikTok shop has income has been very, very low. July was great. I made $1,300 in July. And then in August, I did not make that great of money. In September, I didn't make great money. In October, again, I'm not making great money. Granted, it's only the seventh, but still, it's, it's just, it's hard to continue doing this when you're not seeing any kind of results. The other thing that I wanted to mention too is I really don't like being in the same realm. I know I'm not showing anything on my screen and I apologize, it's probably boring, but I don't like being in the same realm of people that are just doing this to make money and they don't care how they're affecting people. I know that we all want to make money, but I know that I don't want to make money at the expense of other people. They don't like that other creators are lying to people and saying that products are good just to get the sale. 
I just watched a video of someone that was giving all these tips. We had done something like 10 tips and she was saying, and, and her first nine tips were fantastic. And then her 10th one was like, well, I got this, this bodysuit and I, and I didn't really even like it, but I decided to post about it anyways. And then I made a bunch of money. I was like, okay, so how do you feel about that? Why do you feel good about something that you were going to return and you decided to not return it and just make a video about it? And then you made a bunch of money off of that because I feel like that's lying to people. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. So I don't know if I'm going to have another one of these next week. I only gained three subscribers this week, only at 290. And then when I go over to Social Blade, let's see what I'm at. I'm at C plus. So I don't know. That's just, that's just what my thought was last night as I was looking through my stuff and thinking he projected to hit a thousand followers in eight months. So now I'm in June. So that's great on my YouTube channel, but I'm also feeling burnt out. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking about maybe just taking a break on the YouTube for quarter four and just focusing and going all in on my Amazon and my TikTok shop stuff and then picking up YouTube sometime in January. I'm not really sure. So I don't know, maybe I'll think about it in the next week or so. Maybe I will convert this channel back to doing review videos and I'll just post videos that I make for Amazon and TikTok shop over here also. And I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. But thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting me. If you're still supporting me, uh, this is week 12 and 290 subscribers on YouTube and hoping to hit a thousand subscribers and watch hours. That's the other one. You know, I think the watch hours are probably going to be the harder part for me. If I go over to YouTube studio and go down to earn, I only have a hundred and or excuse me. I only have 183 public watch hours. I need 4,000 for this monetization tier and I might hit the thousand followers and then the watch hours are probably going to be where I'm going to be lagging and lagging and lagging. So I need to get it together. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, whenever that is and whatever that is. Thanks for supporting me. Bye.